Rescuers are working in freezing temperatures looking for survivors of Monday's deadly earthquake that hit Turkey and neighboring Syria. The death toll has climbed now to more than 7,700 people is expected to rise even higher. Thousands are still unaccounted for. Aid from all over is pouring in. Fox 4's Lori Brown live with how North Texans are working to help tonight. Lori. Steve, Turkish Airlines has offered to fly supplies from Dallas to Turkey for free. So that has the Turkish American Association of North Texas working to gather as much as they can before the first scheduled flight for Thursday evening. With desperation mounting and temperatures falling below freezing in the quake zone, North Texans are doing all they can to speed relief supplies to Turkey. Turkish Airlines has uh, gracefully contacted all the Turkish American associations around the country to carry this cargo back over to Turkey. It is going to a AFAD, which is AFAD, the governmental FEMA organization. Erdal Sapahi leads Tehran, Turkish American Association of North Texas. The first flight out of DFW airport on Turkish Airlines will be this Thursday night. As a company, we provided a pallet of clothes. Ish Selvi, co-owner of Toros Outlet, knew their Garland warehouse could make room for donations, and his business was able to donate several pallets of winter clothing. Neck warmers here, shoes for kids for winter, but they don't have any house, they don't have any clothes, they're all gone. He is hoping that more people will contribute for the first Thursday evening flight. But we need a lot more for sure. Bahadur Koseli was born and raised in Dallas, but all of his extended family is near the epicenter in southern Turkey. My cousin uh, told me that, you know, when this happened around 4.15 in the morning, her and her husband got up and ran outside as fast as they could. Um, and there were actually multiple buildings uh, across the street from them, literally feet from them, uh, that are all 15 plus stories that are now level with the ground. Coselli says all of the family members he's made contact with in Adana are physically okay, but they are among the tens of thousands who are displaced. Unfortunately, they're not able to go back into their homes. So they're out on the streets, they're, they're staying in tents where they can find tents um, uh, and, and really trying to stay warm in this uh, winter weather out there. Tarant is accepting donations at three warehouse locations in Garland, Dallas, and Carrollton, and they will also accept deliveries there. After this Thursday's flight, they're planning another flight for next week. We've put more details on our website at fox4news.com. Steve.